Transfer time, of course it is. Not Jordan's favourite time of the year, but uh, <laughs> the favourite time of the year for many. I know, Dara, you've done many a deal for yeah. your beloved Peterborough United and you'll continue to do so. One deal made me raise an eyebrow this morning, Alex. And first off, where is it? Davison Sanchez of Tottenham, is he heading to Spartak Moscow? Well, the latest information that we have at Talk Sport is that a 12.9 million pound bid has been accepted by Spurs. That'll be uh, a, a upfront payment plus add-ons taking it to around that 12.9 million figure. The ball very much in Davinson Sanchez's court. Does he want to move to Spartak Moscow? I'd imagine that would be maybe a difficult move for a lot of players to make at this moment in time. So it will be up to him now. There are other interested parties. I know Real Betis were having a look at him earlier in the summer. He's only got a year left on his contract. So I think Tottenham are in a position where they need to cash in. Clearly, he's not part of Postacoglu's plans. He's been quite a poor signing, actually, Sanchez, hasn't he? When, when you look back, he's been there six years. Mm. A lot, of, lot of money they put into that Huge one. Huge amount of money. Well, that, I mean, we've got to go in this direction and I make no Here apology for it. <laughs> With the ongoing war in Ukraine, yep. should Premier League clubs be dealing with clubs in Russia? Is it illegal? No, it's not illegal. Okay, so the answer is... Is it right? It's not about being right or wrong. Yes, it, it is. is. No, don't start virtue signaling, Jim. And we had this conversation don't before. We, don't start virtue signaling. I understand it's horrendous what's going on out there in the Ukraine. Well, there you and what are, Russia then. have done. However, however, like I said to you before when I walked in here, if a Russian who had nothing to do with the war in Russia came and bought Talk Sport, would you resign tomorrow? No, you wouldn't. You just wouldn't. So, and all of this, don't shake people's hands because they were born in Russia. It's the biggest load of nonsense. You honestly want these young sports people from Russia to come out and disavow Vladimir Putin, who probably in a few years' time they could end up poisoned somewhere. It's not going to happen. So I don't buy into that. Now, regards Tottenham selling him to Spartak Moscow, you have a right to a player when they want to go on a transfer list or you're going to sell them. And you will tell the player, I have a figure. If a club reaches that figure, we will accept a bid and you can talk to the club. Tottenham can't turn around and say to him, we've had a bid. It's matched the figure we all agreed, and sorry, we're going back on our word. There is no rule that says Tottenham cannot sell a player no, to Spartak I, Moscow. I, I understand Now, if that. that changes, I 100% agree with it, just like the European ban on Russian clubs, no problem. But right now, as it stands, if somebody wants to buy a player from Russia or sell a player to Russia, they are legally allowed. Morals don't pay the bills for lots of these football clubs. Oh, come on, and, and is it What kind of look is it? What kind of look is what? This. What does it look like dealing with Russian clubs who and who, and Russia engaged in an illegal war with Ukraine? I understand your opinion on it. I'm not disagreeing with your opinion based on the war. I'm talking from a sports point of view that nobody's breaking any laws here. Those Russian clubs aren't breaking any laws, and the player Davidson uh, Sanchez, he's not breaking any law if he goes there. Now I understand it's a moral dilemma for him, and if I were him, I wouldn't go there. And if I were Tottenham, right now I'd be on the phone trying to find another club to pay pretty much near that figure and sway him that way. Because I wouldn't want any of this action. We live in a society now where you're just going to get fired down for coming out and do. If Peter Brasol a player to Spartak Moscow, I'd be cancelled five times over again next week. Would However, you do it? Would of you course do it? I'd do it. Because do at the it. end of the well, day, there you are then. hang on a sec, Jim. I have over 300 employees at a football club that I operate. I have players as well that I have to also, uh, you know, do the right thing by. And if it's life-changing for them, I can't turn a bid down from anyone. If I was told it's illegal to do so, of course I wouldn't do any kind of business whatsoever. So I understand your point, and I understand some people are going to get angry with me for my point, but I can't turn down a transfer bid from any, any club in the world that legally is allowed by one of my players. I, I totally see where you're coming from, Jim. Um, and a lot of people will say this is a bad look for Tottenham. Why do they need to do business uh, with a Russian club? But ultimately, if Spartak Moscow at this moment in time are the only club willing to meet their valuation, then this comes down to a football decision, not a moral decision. And actually, if, if they were to turn it down, if Daniel Levy was to come out and say, I'm not going to sell players to Russian clubs, that gives him a short-term PR victory. Mm. But long-term... Is that a sustainable approach? This is still a business decision at the end of the day. Where I do feel sympathy, actually, is not for Tottenham, certainly not for Tottenham, but it's for Ukrainian clubs. And you look at the Manuel Solomon situation. Horrible what's happened to those Shakhtar clubs. have lost a yeah. player yeah. who two years ago probably would have commanded a fee of Millions. at least £40 million. Pounds, yeah. And he's gone to free transfer. That, that's brilliant, Alex. So, so the, the right point. So they'll be looking at this now and saying, well, how can Spartak Moscow continue to trade as a going concern and we've lost one of our prize assets on a free transfer? This is not Tottenham's problem. It's the powers to this be. This is UEFA's problem. It's the powers to be. They've banned Russian clubs from competing in European competition. Therefore, there probably should be a ban 
on buying and selling players from Russia. Yeah. Because there isn't, I don't see that Tottenham are doing much So when you do here. a business deal, Dan, our morals never come into it. <laughs> That's a good dig, by the way. Um, I'm asking you. At the, it's a, well, I'm not selling illegal arms to somebody, and I'm certainly not a drug dealer. When you talk about a business deal, what kind of business deal are you talking about? Well, look at look at look at the money. Look at the money that's coming in. Then I understand look the purpose. Do look, you know? Look, I, do we know where the money is coming from? This is where I get into the old virtue signal with people writing about Qatar and writing about Ukraine and Russia. A lot of the same journalists and people work for magazines, publications who take millions in advertising from areas of the world of Asia where human rights violations are diabolical, just as bad as Saudi, if not worse. And we're going on about this same topic. So you can't pick and choose when it suits you to cash your check. You don't even know sometimes where your check's coming from. And if you really dig into it, every company you've ever worked for have probably done something that's immoral by taking money from some companies and advertisers. But so, you still cash the check. So at the end of the day, if, it, if, if, if it's legal, Sanchez if it's goes, legal, and it's legal, it's and, legal. And the point you made is a good yep. one. It is legal. Yeah. And the, this business can be done. The powers to be... We shouldn't question it. Alex has made a brilliant point. Ukraine clubs have been decimated financially with yeah. what's been allowed with their yeah. players being taken and the transfer fees. Yeah. It's up to UA for the powers to be to come in and stop. Why would they ban Russian clubs from Europe but allow transfer activity between Russia clubs and the rest of the world? So... Get you know, you, get off the you, fence. Would you back a ban then? If I, would. I, would, I would 100% back a ban because that's the right thing to do, like the ban for the European competitions, ban any transfer activity. Because again, you don't know the flow of money. You don't know if some of these Russian people, where they got their money from, living in, in Russia, who own those clubs, and if they're laundering money out, considering what's been going on with some of the Ogolarks over the last two years. So you don't know the, the stream of money and where it's going to go. So I just ban that as well as banning them from Europe. So you, you must wouldn't think have it's this wrong issue. then. Of course I know if it's you're wrong. Say, if, if you're saying I, you'd back a I'm ban not, I'm not disagreeing with saying it's wrong. I, right. I, I understand what you're saying about the war in Ukraine. I understand about the atrocities that are going on. What I'm saying to you is it's legally allowed by the rules and definition that we can say... If I have a player with a release clause in this contract and a Russian club comes in and hits the release clause, I can't do anything about it anyway because it's legally allowed. Yeah, If Harry Kane had a release clause for $140 million and someone came in and offered him that from a Russian club and paid him a billion dollars... Tottenham can't do anything about it anyway. It's legally allowed. So my mm. argument with it is, is it's within the law. Nobody's breaking the law selling that player. And, and there's one final point on this as well. We don't <laughs> know where Davinson Sanchez's head is at. But if he does want to go to Spartak Moscow, to go there. <laughs> but if he does want to go there and Tottenham rejected a bid on a moral basis, Correct. he could accuse them of a restraint of trade. And going back on what they maybe said to him, they might have said to him, if we get anywhere in the 13, 14 million range, we will allow you leave. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.